executive leaders of largest corporations have been confronted with an uh, unprecedented increase in the social issues impinging upon their business policies and practices. Not only have a variety of uh, social regulations have, uh, have been developed that apply universally to all industries, but each industry has also experienced to varying degrees a proliferation of industry-specific challenges for the corporate social environment. In response to these pressures, businesses have increased their efforts to manage the corporate social environment. The social environment encompasses business activities influenced by various community and government groups. Many chief executives spend more time on the external affairs of the business than any other activity. Most executives allocate significant personnel, time and budget to the creation of elaborate staff groups to help them understand and manage the environment and its challenges. Some firms may be more vulnerable to social group pressure and social regulation than others. A number of factors have been identified as contributing to this vulnerability. A firm may be more vulnerable to social forces if the firm is Number one, a large sized or well known company thus presenting a big target. Number two, located in an urban area and under increased scrutiny by the media and social groups. Number three, producing a consumer oriented product viewed as a necessity by the public. Number four, providing a product or service that may cause harm or injury to the users. And finally, number five, part of a heavily regulated industry that is expected to meet high public expectations. How a firm addresses an exposure to the corporate social environment heavily depends on the values and beliefs of the company managers, that is the philosophy they hold about the role of the corporation in society. This is called the top management philosophy. Managers sensitive to the impact of social forces and seeking to strategically manage their stakeholders will adopt the view that the firm is a social as well as an economic institution. They embrace the view that the firm has a duty to adapt to changing social environment. In response to emerging social issues, these managers are more likely to modify their business policies and practices than managers who understand their responsibilities to the firm only in an economic context. Managers in, uh, in uh, socially responsive firms recognize and consider only, not only the interests of their immediate core stakeholders but the interest of all of the firm's stakeholders. They see corporate social performance in broad terms extending over the long term and having an impact on their industry. Most important, these managers merge the economic and social goals of their company into the firm's planning, measurement and reward system developed to guide and monitor business op operations and managers performance. Usually a socially responsive top management philosophy as a foundation, a firm must develop a social, socially responsive strategy. This strategic orientation tends to emphasize a collaborative and problem-solving approach, as opposed to one that emphasizes only the firm's interests and is 
adversary adversary in nature collaborative problem solving strategies are distinguished by their emphasis on maintaining long term relationships based on trust and open communication with all of the company stakeholders managers demonstrate this collaborative characteristic by participating in regulatory and advisory committees and trade associations that seek mutually beneficial compromise However these managers are quick to explain that their strategy is not purely altruistic they acknowledge that maintaining ongoing relationships with their stakeholders and seeking mutually beneficial problem solving strategies will ensure the company's long term survival log on to my website www.asifjmead.com I also invite you to visit my blog at asifjmead.wordpress.com Thank you for your time have a wonderful day